my loves, welcome back to Bahati Life Apothecary, Bahati Life YouTube and Bahati Life Podcast. It's your girl Jessica Alexandria, again, of BahatiLife.com. Yo, it is so good to be back. Obviously, as you can tell, we are in a totally different environment. Why is that? Well, because I high key manifested a house. Dude, stop, pause pause what literally yes you guys this has been something that has been in the works for quite some time i have been very specific and intentional but i didn't want it all to just come slamming into my life right away it didn't it really didn't for the longest time i've really been wanting a space all of my own you guys know that I have been like a rolling stone from one state to the next state to one city to the next city all over moving and the one thing that I haven't had since I was a little tiny girl was just a home, the you know, this homestead space, a space that was all my own. If I was going to do it, I wanted it to be perfect in the perfect location. I wanted it to be all mine and I wanted it to be the way that I, I envisioned it and that's exactly what is here right now. That's exactly what I've manifested and I say this all not to brag or anything like that but just to tell you guys that if it's in your heart and if it's what you want set intention continue to set intention continue to manifest and put it out there to the universe ask God ask the divine ask spirit to help you to manifest these things or if you don't have the vision to know exactly what it is that you want and more than that have the patience and the faith to allow it to manifest with divine timing because you don't want to rush anything like this not at all so this is the new office space this is the new apothecary office which is so phenomenal and i'm so excited about it because i'll have my own workspace to record these astrology videos and podcasts and information for you guys that I am obsessed with that I love and that you guys are obsessed with and that you guys love and then also I have a full working apothecary space where I'm going to continue carrying on not only working my fixed candles for you guys and my oils my intention oils definitely you know my love spells my moon spells all those things but also the custom oils etc etc but also I'm going to be bringing in those wonderful delectable delicious honey body butters beauty butter beauty butters that you guys have been asking for for three and a half years now i'm pretty sure it's been three and a half years now but now that i have the space now that i have the time and we are here we are able to do this it's we're able to get it on and popping and i'm beyond excited and shout out to the divine for you know helping to, you know to manifest all this stuff all right you guys so i don't want to make this video too long because i haven't recorded a video in two and a half weeks I think it's been two and a half weeks, but it feels so long. I've been itching and ready to get started and pull charts, but of course, everything in its time, I wanted to make sure that I was all set up and all ready and clear headed so I can give you guys the best always as I always do. There are a few things this week that I, or a few things that have happened within the, since I've been gone. So two weeks, oh, two weeks and a half that I haven't been able to report on and I'm gonna touch on them just a little bit, but we are also going to carry on and continue carrying forward. If you guys have any questions about any transits that have happened in my absence, again, for the last two and a half weeks, feel free to let me know down in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer them for you. For example, Pluto retrograde occurred, OMG. First and foremost, you guys, yeah, Pluto retrograde. So uh, Pluto currently is retrograde right now at the time that I'm filming this at, in the sign of Capricorn, retracing his steps. For those of you guys that don't know, Pluto is a planet of renewal, regeneration, rebirth. You kind of want to envision it as um, the total breakdown and destruction and crumbling of aspects within yourself that need to be shed, that need to be let go, that need to be released. And with that, there's this internal um, conflict sometimes, but I want to call it a conversation where the aspects within yourself have to become a little bit more intimately aware of feelings of powerlessness, letting go of control, letting go, letting God, so to speak, right? That's what actually what Pluto rules is the ability to control things, the, the ability to feel powerful, the ability to manipulate, manipulate in air quotes. Why do I put this in air quotes? Well, because 
you know, sometimes people have a tough time with the word manipulation because honestly, they have a tough time with their ability to accept how much they're able to control and how much they're able to, they, they are encouraged to let go. Manipulation has been used and violated, used and abused for, for centuries where people in big positions of power have abused their power by manipulating the masses in ways that was ill intent. They had a lot of ill intention. When we're, when I'm mentioning the word manipulation, what is it I'm saying is that you make a difference, you make an impact. And if your intention is positive, then your, your um, imprint will be positive. I want you guys to understand and know, and more importantly, the planets, are really guiding you to understand, okay, I make a difference in this world. This is what I see for myself. This is what I want for myself. It's one thing to see it, which is hard enough as it is. It's one thing to want it, but what are you doing about it? So with Pluto retrograde, this planet is forcing you to come into terms with these duplicit aspects within yourself. What does this mean? This means that there are aspects within you that feel very strong and light and vibrant. And then there's aspects within you that feel very dark and stagnant and unstable. So a part of this are things that we have all seen or that you have seen me talk about on Bahati Life YouTube channel or in Bahati Life podcast, this breakdown of our government, this breakdown of established businesses and structures, things that, you know, we, we, we can see it coming, we can see it happening. And then also in our own intuitive, in our own internal lives, but in addition to that, there are aspects that get triggered within us that provoke us, that force us in a way that makes us sometimes feel very uncomfortable to accept the shadow sides or the good and the bad. Some things, again, you can control and you have every right to kind of continue to, to add more fuel to the fire, meaning, okay, give it your energy, give it your attention, give it your love. And then there's aspects within yourself that are completely outside of your control. And that's where you have to fall back fall back with grace, fall back with love, fall back with understanding and softness. That's that feminine energy. Now, remember when I talked about duplicity, this means that we are working with feminine and masculine energies. Masculine means that there are aspects within ourselves that are do, 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 go, achieve, dominate, destroy in ways that are active and engaged. But then there's a feminine side that also requires you to be more receptive, for you to fall back, to allow you to receive, to allow you to be filled up to allow you to be nourished right and during this Pluto retrograde transit while certain things are being broken down and certain aspects within yourself are being released or certain circumstances within your life are coming out of the woodwork out of the closets and kind of rearing its ugly head and snapping at you and scaring you or provoking you or triggering you this is a moment for you to come back into yourself to come back to your higher self and to connect once again with with the spirit to connect once more with the divine and ask for clarity ask for direction ask for purpose faith and direction so that the moves that is that you're making are clear they're precise they're powerful so that you can go back again to manifesting this world that is that you see for yourself and as I'm saying this you guys I have chills I don't know if you can see that but I have chills because this message is truly 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 powerful now as I'm breaking down the rest of this week on the 18th we have Venus sextile Chiron Chiron is that asteroid within our chart that shows us where our wound is right it just happens to be that Chiron falls within this masculine side Aries right so it's so interesting that we are called to kind of fall back to kind of be receptive and to nurture ourselves and to nourish ourselves and to connect with the divine and be supported by the divine in the aspects that we can't control but on the opposite side of that what we can actively do is work it work on and focus on our healing for some of you guys this means major life changes I'll use myself as an example the fact that it is that I'm moving into or just bought a home, my own home, my own house for the first time and doing all that is that I love, all that is that I've been actively spending my entire life working to manifest, 
that requires a lot of action. That requires a lot of boldness on my part. But at the same time, it can be very triggering, triggering because remember, at the very start of this video and at the very start of this informative you know, podcast, I was telling you guys, that was the one thing that is that I really truly didn't have. And no shade to anyone, not my parents, nothing, because I believe that everything happens for a reason. But growing up, I didn't really have a set, established, grounded home base. In fact, if people today, when they ask me, yo, Jess, where are you from? I have no answer for them. I, I can tell you where I was born, but outside of that, I don't know that area. I, I didn't stay there for very long. And every year since I was seven or eight or nine, we were moving every year after that. And I kind of continued on and carried that tradition because that's what I was accustomed to. That was That's what I was used to. So as I was actively working on healing my Chiron, Chiron and, and Aries, saying, okay, Jess, put yourself first. What do you want? What do you see for yourself? Don't put anybody else into question. It can really trigger aspects within yourself that say, even as I'm doing this for my own self, it still can kind of trigger aspects within myself. But in that, I become a wounded warrior. In that, you become a wounded warrior. This means that you are being called to to step into spaces to give to yourself in a way that maybe you haven't been given to or to create something that hasn't been provided for you and that's where your power comes from and brings it right back full circle into your ability to manipulate your world or create i'm going to use that word because some of you guys really get triggered when i say the word manipulate but your ability to create and to form your own world how you see it not only in your intimate life but your your public life how you come out to the world how you show up for the rest of the world the work that is that you do how you heal yourself how you take care of your body what you're writing what you're speaking about what you're interested in where you play how you play all of those things are things that you get to create and it can be triggering it can be dark sometimes but again you are learning how to work with the, the duplicities you're learning how to work with masculine energy feminine energy your internal god your internal goddess your ability to do your ability to receive and your ability to be active and also dormant all of those things are being called to you here now present in this moment definitely during this Pluto retrograde time I love it we love to see it on the 19th I made a note here you guys building branding beauty aesthetic change it up new new look new me this is because Venus is sitting in a sign of Gemini and she is trying meaning she's got this beautiful effortless flow of creation with the sign of, with the with the planet Saturn who is breaking it up breaking it up breaking it down in the sign of Aquarius they want to do differently I don't want to repeat myself. You guys are definitely gonna have to check in my past videos, but I've been saying for a long time, this is where power and structure is completely being um, eradicated and being revamped, re revolutionized in a lot of ways, being broken down. We saw this last year and the years before that, um, where Saturn was moving through Capricorn, kind of breaking down our old established politics and government and businesses and now it's it's power to the people and we or the little people or the different the erratic the, the totally like unexpected is what is being strengthened right now and stabilized sorry you guys you can't see this but I have this beautiful orchid here why don't I have this orchid just sitting here so I can share it with you let's see if I could set it up but it's so heavy it's so top heavy this orchid is so, um, and for those of you guys that are watching on the podcast, you're probably like, what is she talking about? Well, I'm talking about this beautiful orchid that is that I have. And if you guys hear a knock in the background, it's because Amazon is delivering my water jug. And we're back. Sorry about that, you guys. Yeah, so as I was saying, yeah, building, branding, beauty, aesthetic, change it up, new look, new me. That's what it is that we're getting with this Venus, Trine, Saturn energy on the 19th. Why this is important is because spirit, the universe wants you as you are going through this groundbreaking, breathtaking transformation and renewal and rebirth, this is an invitation from the planets and from spirit for you to, if this is a new internal you, this means that it's so welcome and so encouraged for you to showcase this new you with a new look, if that makes any sense. So this means that you don't have to you know, bring in all of 
what was old, especially when it comes to things, stuff how we look, how we appear, how we dress, how we talk, all those things are open to being revamped right now because this is a new you and how you dress and how you show up for the world or how you make things look is a reflection of how you are feeling and what you're believing in and your principles and your morals and what you find valuable. All those things are found within. And that's something that within the spirituality community, a lot of people have a hard time, you know, sitting with and addressing because they're like, this is superficial. I'm from the depths. I'm a deeper person. But it's like, you know, spirit factored in all of those things, including our aesthetics and value and tangibles and money, all of that stuff is within the astrology chart. And if it's found within the astrology chart, then it obviously serves a very important role within our lives. So sometimes, you know, we don't want to like judge people. Obviously, we don't want to judge people, but how someone shows up and how someone appears says a lot about who they are and how they take care of themselves or what they prioritize. And if what you're showing up as or how you look or what you're spending your money on, if it doesn't um, represent who you are now, then is it really a total clean slate? Is this total, is this really a rebirth? And this doesn't mean that you have to like invest all of your money and your resources and just dump your wallet out or dump your bank account out if you're not called to do that because there's plenty of different resources and things that you can use. For example, I myself, I am really big on salvaging things, I'm going to thrift stores and stuff like that, staging it, cleansing it, and bringing it into my space, giving it new life, and you know, re, um, having it return into another form because though that's what I'm all about. On the 19th, you guys, this is where I'm seeing this energy of hydraulics with the sun moving into the sign of Gemini around 9.58 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is where people, I mean, summertime, you guys, we are starting to really get into the energy of summertime or just being out and mingling about, exploring, expanding ourselves. Um, this is where we really start to you know, want to engage ourselves in things we want to explore. We're curious, we're asking questions, we're out in our neighborhoods. So expect that or plan for it. I'm seeing neighborhood marketplaces, Facebook marketplace is something that's coming through for those of you guys that are, um, you know, again, working on rebranding or anything like that. See what other people are talking about, seeing what other people are getting rid of. That's gonna be so, so awesome. If there's something that is that you want or something that is that you need, that's another thing that you can go ahead and manifest. Everyone keeps talking about manifesting these big things and they completely neglect the small stuff. So maybe there's a crystal, a specific crystal that is that you want. Okay, put it out there to the universe that it just finds you. So it's not, you know, a hard task. It just comes, finds you. Okay? Or maybe something bigger, you know, whatever that is. Okay? So I am outside of the, the valuables and the things I'm seeing um, uh, people going to like neighborhood activity, events, um, oh goodness, yard sales. I don't know why I'm stuck on shopping right now. Not because I'm doing it. I've actually been kind of like the opposite lately with the whole shopping thing. But I guess it's this whole Venus, she's transiting through Gemini right now, trying Saturn. I just, and with Pluto retrograde, I just feel like someone's gonna find something good. And you guys have to let me know down in the comments, please. Okay, on the 21st, um, Sun squares off with Jupiter. And this is just overdrive, you know, for a lot of people. It's you want to push, 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 push. Now, if this is something that you are working on, that you are motivated, motivated for, I highly support this. But when it comes to the body and the physical body, this is just when we see people overly doing it. So just for those of you guys that partake in drugs, alcohol, or anything else like that, or working out too hard, this is just something I always caution. There's this overconfidence um, that people might be experiencing and feeling, and then this Jupiter, this Jupiter transit squaring off with with the sun, it kind of over inflates your ego and over inflates your ability to kind of see and feel things for what they are. So you can really push yourself past your limits. And I don't want anybody to get hurt. You guys know me. I'm like the mother hen in the astrology world. I'm always looking out for you guys. <laughs> always just want to take care of you guys. On the 22nd put a pin in this. Even though this is the 22nd, we're going to be feeling this all this week. Now, Mercury is going to be squaring off with Neptune. And Mercury, again, is in the sign of Gemini. It is doing a whole lot. Mercury, Venus, and the Sun are going to be in the sign of Gemini. So there's going to be a lot of activity. You're going to be mingling with your friends, going to different parks, parties, whatever it is, what have you. 
but the problem comes when there's something lost in translation. The problem comes when you get yourself in a space of a head, a head, a foggy headspace, and you're not using rational thinking. You're not using good old common sense. That's a problem because it can really, especially with Sun um, square Jupiter butt heads that can really create a problem now this could be a fight this could be getting lost this could be hurting yourself these are just things that we want to be very mindful of the 23rd is when Saturn is going to be moving retrograde once again now I'll be making a whole entire separate video on that because we really need to dive into that but keep in mind that even though Saturn is going retrograde on the 23rd, this is something that we've been feeling and Saturn is going to be preparing to go retrograde along with Jupiter all this week. So this is where you really are kind of um, being called to use good old fashioned common sense. It wants to slow you down. It really wants to slow you down. Um, I'm getting a vision right now, you guys know how I am with this, of just a scab getting ripped off. This That creates more harm than good. I know that's a crazy metaphor and it can be very like, ugh, but allow things to unfold, allow things to heal themselves, allow things to do what they do in their own time. If you rip it off, if you force it, if you push it, you're gonna have a bigger problem. Now, again, I'm gonna talk about Saturn Retrograde and more um, in the next video, so make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel or this podcast, or whatever it is that you're currently, um, currently streaming in. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We are back in full force, not only Bahati Life YouTube, but Bahati Life Podcast. The Apothecary is going to be a week later, but that's going to be up and ready. I'm spending the rest of my week getting everything situated. And what else? Oh my God, Sacred Circle Tarot School. You guys have been asking. For those of you guys that have not had the chance, the opportunity to enroll and you're waiting for us to start from scratch, from scratch because you see all of the awesome um, educational videos that I've been sharing with them with that circle and you've been wanting you know to start from fresh I mean this is an intensive dive in the tarot that we do every week it is very exclusive so if you were looking out for the sacred circle tarot school that is going to be there for you it's absolutely amazing <laughs> and I'm definitely excited to have more faces but I'm also definitely to revisit and to return to my OGs those have been in the school since day one and still continue to show up because these conversations are powerful we go live once a week at 7 p.m eastern standard time on tuesdays but more than that um we also have a whole list of videos and content educational content for those that are beginning beginner to medium to advanced levels of study with the tarot yes even advanced students students that have been studying for all of their lives are going to gain a lot from this series absolutely okay so all the links for all of that will be listed down below you can find me of course at bahadilife.com that is the beehive for all of the activities of everything that it is that I'm doing, everything that it is that I'm offering from the apothecary to the astrology ebook to sacred circle tarot school links to awesome blogs and information that I am finding inspiring or that you're going to need along your spiritual journey. So all of that will be there for you. And in the meantime, you guys, make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel. 